Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 3 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time we are using Leto's Great Hammer and this weapon is awesome. I had a great time using this thing. It's been a while since I've had this much fun using a Great Hammer. So getting started. This weapon requires 60 strength. There is no dexterity requirement. It has an A scaling in strength and no dexterity scaling and its physical base damage is 296. So overall, it's a strength weapon, I think we can pretty much say that with absolute certainty. Now the skill on this weapon, which you will see me use all the time, is called Call to Stone, where you swing it around in a circle around you, and it buffs the weapon with an attack that adds stones. So that increases the damage by a fair bit, it puts my attack rating with this thing just over 700 if I'm not mistaken, and it will shatter the stones if you follow up, up the skill with an R2, or if you do a fully charged R2 down the line it will shatter them that way. That said, this weapon's range on that attack is kind of insane. It covers such a wide area around you, never mind the fact that it covers a really far distance away from you as well. Overall it's probably the best thing about the weapon. Now, the other pros of the weapon would definitely be the fact that it has all of the hyper armor. Like, literally just all of the hyper armor you could ever want, this weapon has, and that is awesome. Other than that, damage, can't complain. You know, you'll three-shot people very, very, very frequently. Especially when buffed, you can possibly two-shot people. Never mind the fact that I didn't even really bother going for charged R2s most of the time, so that's a thing as well. Also. One other note about the skill, when you do follow it up, that attack that shatters the stones has such an amazingly wide area of effect. Even if you miss your opponent like I did in the last fight, chances are it'll still hit them with the shockwave which will help you from getting backstabbed, so that's nice. Um, other than that though, uh, great weapon art like I said, best pro of the weapon, and a pretty decent moveset other than that. It's nothing overly special, you've got wide swings with your attacks, which can be good at dealing with people who are trying to backstab fish. That said, this weapon has a very slow startup on most of its attacks, on all of its attacks, and the attacks are just slow in general, to be perfectly honest. So that's definitely the biggest issue with them. They're extremely easy to dodge, and with your opponent, uh, if they decide they want to use a weapon with quick step like this guy, well, you're kind of going to get torn apart. There's really no way around it. Um, it's just such a fast thing to do, it's almost impossible to keep up with it. Even if you do go for the skill, they can quick step towards you and through the skill, just simply due to the fact that even that is too slow. So needless to say, if you're going to be fighting someone who has a weapon that can quick step, either expect a loss or switch to a different weapon if you have the option to do so. That said, this weapon does weigh a metric ton. So, needless to say, it's going to be a little bit difficult to have a weapon that you can wield in addition to this one, unless your build is exactly specced to do that. I did have to respect to use it on my build, so it is what it is. It takes 60 strength, so you know, that kind of is a lot more than what most people are running. So, it is what it is, you know. At the end of the day, it's a fantastic weapon. I would highly recommend picking this thing up. If you have even a slight interest in strength builds at all, this weapon is so much fun to use. But either way, this is where we will be ending things this time around, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful in one way or another. If you enjoyed it and you feel like leaving a like, that'd be great because it helps out the channel. For whatever reason, recently my channel's sort of been hemorrhaging subscribers, so I'm not sure what that's about. But if you guys have any thoughts on what I can do to fix this, let me know what kind of videos you guys would be interested in me doing from this point on. Because, you know, there's just not much interest in what I've been doing recently, and I want to fix that. So, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.